What's going on, guys? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the NFL betting lines in the week uh, on, for my channel, The Extra Point. So without further ado, we have The Extra Point's lines of the week. All right. So uh, my favorite bet this week is Chicago Bears minus six points versus the Rams, or plus six points versus the Rams, excuse me. I think that they're just getting – they're they're getting way too many points. Um, being a massive six-point underdog versus the Rams. I realize the Rams are a good team, but remember, they just laid an egg against the San Francisco 49ers. It's not like they're the world beaters that they were a couple years ago. And the Chicago Bears are really good at keeping games close. They've got tough defense, and they've got an experienced quarterback who, even if they don't win the game, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if they did. Uh, they, they shouldn't be losing by any more than four points. All right, we've got the Browns-Bengals game. Take the over. This 51 and a half points, it's not a lot. Or 51 points, excuse me, it's not a lot. All right? So that means if the Browns win the game, 27, 24, we win. All right? 28, 24, we win. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, my math isn't perfect. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, the last, last time they uh, combined scored 65 points. So, you know, it's, it's a massive difference between the first and the second game. But what we've got right here is two – Two talented offenses with good young quarterbacks, pretty decent offensive coordinators right now, and two really, really underperforming defenses. I, I don't know why the line is so low, but expect, a, expect these uh, teams to score over 51 points combined. All right, we've got the Bills minus 10 and a half over the Jets. Uh, I like this because I think right now the Jets are a complete dumpster fire. The one thing that they have going for them right now is they just got Sam Darnold back. Now, since 2018, when they drafted him, they are winless without Sam Donald, uh, meaning like when he comes back, they do have a much higher chance of winning. But I think the Bills are trying to come back from their, you know, their recent skit of games against Tennessee and uh, Kansas City. They've got a little bit longer uh, time to prepare. And so uh, this 10 and a half points over the Jets, I wouldn't be surprised if the Bills ended up coming out winning, you know, probably like 31 to 31 to 18. I like the Detroit Lions as underdogs uh, to beat the Falcons, minus one and a half points. Uh, I'll take them to win outright. I think that um, the game against Minnesota was just too much for uh, the betters not to start taking the Falcons. Uh, the Lions are looking for their third win in four weeks, I believe. So um, I think that with uh, the way that Matthew Stafford has been playing and the way that uh, the offense is clicking. They're getting Kenny Galladay back, and that should help, especially over a uh, really porous Falcons defense. I think that uh, there's more talent on the Detroit Lions defensive side. Plus, the Falcons just fired their head coach, so you know there's not as much consistency in the locker room as there used to be. We've got the New England Patriots minus three over the 49ers. Uh, last time we saw the New England Patriots, they were getting you know shorthanded by the um, the Denver Broncos. So it doesn't look great. But what we did see is uh, the week before, we didn't. We saw that the Patriots weren't able to practice. We saw that, uh, you know, there was a, a lot of guys that had COVID in and out of the lineup. So I think that this game will be a game that they can get their footing back. I, I don't want people to overreact to the Denver Broncos game versus the Patriots. And I don't think people should overreact to the 49ers game over the Rams. I think that the 49ers are on a downward trend, and the Patriots should be on an upward trend. Bet the Patriots minus three to beat the 49ers. Uh, and then my second favorite bet of the week, I'm going to bookend them. Uh, the Green Bay Packers minus three and a half over the Texans. The Texans are a horrendous team. I believe they have one win this season. Uh, and honestly, I, I can't believe the line is this small because – the Green Bay Packers were on a historic pace uh, before the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. They were on pace to score 40 points per game. Uh, it was 39, I think. And one bad defensive uh, or one great defensive team uh, was able to show them up. The, the, the Houston Texans cannot, cannot, on their best day, try to even come to 90% of what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would do. I think at the most, J.J. Watt would have to travel back in time to 2014 and then 
grab his old body, bring himself to the present for this to even be a close game. Uh, the Packers are without Aaron Jones. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Uh, the Texas defense is terrible. And plus, the Packers secondary is going to be good enough to bookend the two wide receivers that can, you know, take the top off uh, for Houston. So don't expect it to be a close game. I think Green Bay wins this one uh, 36, probably 36 to 24. All right, guys, uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe uh, for more content I try to produce every week. Uh, be sure to, uh, you know, watch uh, some of the other videos on a week-to-week -week basis. I do fantasy, I do betting, I do some uh, other sports recaps, NBA or even MMA.